we look at Tom Waits, Jackson Brown, Bruce Springsteen, Tom Petty, Carlos is definitely part of a group that he's grounded in that truth. You can be sitting somewhere and start singing one of his songs and everybody knows the words. I really think that North Americans looking at Carlos Varela concert are gonna see themselves. I love that song. It's partly his prowess as a writer and it's partly his generosity as a human being, as a figure, you know, he's, you know. Al fin se hace justicia, ¿no? De verdad. Este hombre es un gran artista, una persona que va a pasar a la posteridad en la música cubana, en la historia de la música cubana. A ver, conmigo. Él estuvo prohibido muchos años aquí. ¿eh? Y todo ese tiempo de silencio a ti te hace pensar qué es lo importante de lo que se pueda decir cuando a ti te someten un silencio muy grande. Todo lo que se vivió a todo lo que sobrevivimos, de alguna manera más, de saber realmente quién eres. ¿no? y darlo a conocer. La gente lo eligió. Detrás de toda la distancia. If you start reading Latin American history with the United States' involvement, you know, comes face to face with one's feelings of responsibility for what one's government has done in the name of one's freedom. A lot of the problems between Cuba and the U.S. You could say a lot of it is lost in translation. You have to get over your guilt. The one thing Cubans really have in common, whether they're from the, the right or the left, you know, is that they have this burning desire for freedom. Yo te digo.